Hey friends, this is Laura. Welcome back to Chine Faith. Today I wanted to show you the Happy Planner 12 month monthly layout. This is in the mini. It does come in the classic size also. Um, this is for 2020 and I just thought I'd give you a quick tour. Um, I am considering using this for my cleaning routine, um, but I haven't quite decided yet. I do love that the color cover is beautiful on either side. Um, this says live every day like vacay. <laughs> um, and it does have the gold, which I think is kind of pretty. Um, does have all the months, just kind of like your normal planner. But what makes this planner unique is so this is what all the month layouts look like. Um, and here's your like monthly info pages, monthly goals, check it off, note to self, jot it down, top priorities and thankful for. Super cute, super simple. If you didn't have a lot you needed to keep track of, this is a really great planner, I think. Um, what I love about this planner is that instead of your days or weeks, it has daily tasks. So there are 30 of these um, and 31, I didn't count. Um, but uh, they, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six for each day. So like, you know, you could use this for school tasks or work tasks or life tasks or home tasks or um, what you spend in a day. I mean, there are like countless ways you could use this. So again, this is a mini, so you could get it in classic size where it would be bigger, but um, this is like a simple solution to a planner in my opinion. I think this thing is adorable and very functional. And that's what every month looks like. It has your month view, it has your info pages, and then it has your daily tasks. And it's awesome. I mean, what a way to do a planner if you wanna keep it simple. And two, if you don't wanna like maybe put a lot of stickers on it, or you just maybe wanna use colorful pens, or maybe a little bit of washi and just a couple stickers, I think this is a great way to do it. Um, you could also, put it's like the day stickers so you knew first second third fourth like somewhere in here like the little ones um if that would help you or you could even write it um and then the last thing at the end of each month um it does have some notes pages which i think is pretty sweet and then it has the next month so that's how they all look oh it does have a habit tracker i forgot about that um that's kind of cool yeah i forgot to show you that um so for each month, it also has the important dates, get it done, and notes at the beginning of each month. Um, that's what it looks like though, guys. What do you guys think of this? Do you think you would use this type of layout? It's something super simple. Like I think it's one of the most simple um, planners, if you will, that I've seen, but I kind of like it. I kind of dig it. So yeah, I'd love to know what you think of it. And they also, of course, have cute um, tabs for each month. Um, but yeah, let me know what you're using or if you're thinking about using this in the description or in the comments below. Um, I'd be curious what, what people are using it for and how they're using it. There's so many ways. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the happy planner month, uh, monthly layout for 2020. I'm super excited about it. Super excited to be using it. And I will show you in the future what I'm using it for and how I'm using it too. So, um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you would be sure to hit that rep subscribe button and we will see you again soon. Have a blessed day.